Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel, but I also do a lot of beauty reviews and beauty related videos in general. Like this one today, I am showing you how I take this daytime look to nighttime. So if you didn't catch my last video, I did this look right here, which is my go-to work meeting. I've got to run errands. I just need to get some makeup on fast, still look glamorous, but not like over the top look. I will link that up here and down below if you didn't catch that, but I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do my day to night makeup look. So all of you nine to fivers who have to get up, get into the office and don't have time to stop home and redo your makeup for a night out with your girls or your boys, whoever it is, it's Friday night, you don't have time to stop home, you need to bring a couple things to the office and take it up to that next level. This is the video for you. So we're just going to amp everything up a little bit. This isn't going to be crazy. This isn't going to be we're doing a rainbow cut crease type of video. It's just going to be stepping everything up to the next level for nighttime. If you hear that little noise, let me show you what it is. I have Theo right here. He loves to look into the light, which is why he looks like that right now. Theo, stop. That looks funny. He loves to sit with me when I film my videos and he likes to take baths and he likes to eat food and I call him Wheezy because he makes all of these funny noises. So I'm going to put him down, but I'm sure he will be back up here with us in a second. But for those of you who want a couple of tips on how to take your makeup from day to night, not too extreme, but enough to feel a little more glam, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so because you already have makeup on, we're gonna do things in a little bit of a different order. So like I said, we're just stepping everything up a notch. So the first thing I think of, and that's super easy to take it to the next level, is contouring. So I'm gonna grab one of my favorite contouring products. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette, and I'm gonna use this shade right here. Hula would work really well as well. Hula for some reason pulls muddy on me, so I really can't use it. Maybe I need Hula Light, but I'm just gonna grab and drop things. A nice brush, this is a MAC, I can't see the number, 105. I have had my MAC brushes for over 10 years and they are definitely starting to wear. So any pointed contouring brush will work and I'm just gonna deepen all of my natural contours slightly. So right in the cheek area, you guys know I like to do one side of the face and then show you the other so you can see the difference. So we'll go ahead and do that. This would also be a great time to go in and add a little more coverage if you needed to. So I've heard a lot about the Makeup Forever powder foundations. Those are getting a lot of buzz right now. You could also go in with a Charlotte Tilbury. This is pretty sheer, but it does add a little bit of something. So as I blend this out, you could see the difference here with this side that I've contoured, which needs a little bit of blending and this side, it just adds a little more definition and I think steps up a look for nighttime. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury powder on this fluffy eco tools and I'm just going to kind of brush up with this so I'm blending that contour and adding a little more coverage because if you guys did see that video I went in with a very kind of light coverage foundation it's the bare minerals so just adding a little bit and then taking down any shine that you've gotten throughout the day all right so that is the contour and the powder on you can see I do look a little more matte a little less shiny and a little more sculpted so while I'm here I'm going to go in with my Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200 and just add a touch. Again, totally not necessary, but I do think it does amp everything up a little bit. All right, so that is step one, contour and bronze. And already I feel like I'm already looking more like a nighttime look, but I do want to go ahead and emphasize the blush as well. So I'm going to go in with my Milani powder blush. This is the shade Romantic Rose. It works with any look I have going on and it just kind of takes my blush up a notch. And I find that this works over anything under it. So I'm just going to take this Japanese slanted brush and go ahead and apply it to the cheeks. I like to keep things a little more matte when I'm going out and taking a daytime look to a nighttime. That's just personal preference. You could do whatever you want. If you wanted more of a glowy blush, you could totally go in with like the Becca Chloe palette. I will be going in with a highlight in this palette, but I just think that when you have flash on, it already kind of gives you a little bit of like lightness to your face so i prefer to keep everything a little more matte you can go in with a lot of blush you can go in with a little blush i used 
a fair amount. And like I said, we're going to go in with the highlight in the Chloe Becca palette. So this is very reflective. I love it. So I'm just taking this wet and wild brush and I'm going to amp up the highlight. That is one area that will definitely take a look from day to night. So go ahead and do that. And if you did watch my daytime look, you know I didn't highlight down the nose really precisely. So now I can do that since I am taking this to nighttime. I'm just going to get it a little bit more precise on the bridge of the nose. And then I am going to go ahead and take that highlight and add it here because that looks really pretty, I think, in photography. And then the chin. I didn't do that when I was doing my, you know, go-to work look. All right, so that is the complexion when I take my look from day to night. At this point, I would go in and touch up my eyebrows if I felt like it was necessary. I really don't feel like I need too much, but I would just take my Anastasia pencil with me to work and just touch up anywhere I felt like it faded. So maybe in these areas, you can even kind of define the tail a little bit more if you wanted to. I don't really feel the need to do that. There's Theo wheezing again. He's currently laying on a napkin. <laughs> if you guys know cats, they love to like lay on a piece of paper or a napkin. Shh, buddy. Shh. So let's go ahead and touch up the eyes at this point. So you can really get really fun and creative when you're going from day to night at this point. I am going to play with the new Goddess palette from Alter Ego. This is so pretty and different. It makes me want to put the blue on my eyes, but I'm not going to do that today. I'll save that for a different video. I am going to go ahead and deepen the crease a little bit. That would definitely be the first step. So I'm just going to grab this Smith 235 and I'm going to dip into Iris, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to start to deepen the crease a little bit and I'm also going to go ahead and take that under the eyes. If you guys haven't played with Alter Ego shadows yet, they're beautiful, super pigmented and blend really well. See how pretty that is? So you see how I'm just kind of amping up what this eye already has? So pretty. I also do have a coupon code for 10% off, I believe, for Alter Ego. So I will leave that down below if you are interested in purchasing this palette as well. I am loving it so far. Beautiful. So let me go ahead and throw this under the eyes. I'm just going to grab a pencil brush and kind of, you know, smoke out the lower lash line. I think smoking out the lower lash line is like my favorite part. It really makes the look come together. It's crazy how large my lid space looks when I amp up my crease color. Hello, words. Like it looks like I have so much crease space right now and like really I have hooded eyes so when I'm not lifting my eyes like that you can't really see it but beautiful. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do as far as the lid. I'm debating. Yeah, you know what? Let's go in with Lysa. I think that's how you pronounce this shade right here. And I'm just going to take that on my finger because I want to keep this easy. I don't want to have to go in with a bunch of colors. So this is a very, very pretty reflective bronze shade. And I'm just going to go ahead. Whoa, pigmented. That's really pigmented. I'm gonna kind of work that all over from the inner corner to where we put that crease color. This is just my fingertips, by the way. I don't have any primer on, you guys know that. So, wow. That is beautiful. I haven't blended anything out yet, but I do wanna just take a brush and wipe away any glitter fallout. It's very, very minimal, but I do wanna make sure I kind of wipe that away before I get started on blending because there's going to be a little bit more that falls out, obviously. So I'm just going to take a blending brush. This is a Morphe M433, and I'm just going to kind of hit those edges very lightly. I cannot believe how pigmented and how beautifully that shimmer went on. That is just stunning. I'm like speechless. It's beautiful. That is so so pretty. I think I need to deepen the lower lash line just a touch with Irish, Irish, Iris. 
know you guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. I'm just really, really deepening and kind of bringing down the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do now is take the darker brown in the palette, Avalon, this one right here, and I'm just going to take that on a Sonia Kashuk Angel Angeled. Why can't I speak? Angled brush. This is a really, really nice brush if I can locate it. There it is, sitting where it shouldn't be. The Sonia Kashuk number 27 brush. This works really well for liner, so I'm just going to dip in there. And I'm not going to push too hard because when I push hard, I tend to get a little more fallout. So I'm just going to lightly kind of dab this along the lash line to give a little bit of a liner type of look. See what I'm going for? And then I'm also going to go ahead and take that same color under the eyes. Alright, and then I'm just going to take a black liner and I'm going to line the upper waterline. And then I'm going to take a gold liner. This is the Sephora waterproof gel liner. It's not a gel liner. I totally made that up. It is the just a regular eyeliner in suntan just to kind of play up this gold look. For some reason that gold liner wasn't working so I'm just going to take the Catrice Coal liner in Casanova. You can also use a brown or black or nude liner here if you want. I just want to kind of play up the gold. I've definitely got a little bit of gold fallout right there, but it's okay. Like I said, I commit to my shimmer when I wear shimmer. So I am just going to go ahead and go in with Freya, the shade right here. And I'm going to see how that looks as an inner corner highlight. Might be a little bit too shimmery for me, but or glittery rather, but let's see. Oh no, that's really pretty. No, that works really well. It's almost got like a yellow undertone. It doesn't almost, it does. So it works really well. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love it. So next thing, you guys know we already have mascara on. I, I keep going back and forth. I kind of want to put one of those blue shades like under the eye to see what that looks like, but I... I don't know how it's going to turn out. We're going to have to save that for another video. Let's just leave it like this because like I said, we're just kind of amping everything up. So I am going to go ahead and apply some individual lashes. That is exactly what I would do if I was trying to amp something up. Now, if you didn't want to apply individuals, these are just the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. These are the trios. I absolutely love these. These are like my go-to. I have a whole video on this. This is really, really good for beginners who kind of struggle with a total strip lash. These work really well. They're really easy and they look really natural. They're kind of foolproof. So I'll just put a little bit of glue in the little glue pocket area. If you didn't want to go in with lashes, you could just go over with some more mascara. Just make sure that you're not caking your mascara. Sometimes it helps to apply a little bit of Vaseline on your lashes to kind of re-wet them so you can go back in so it doesn't get clumpy. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply a couple of these. I'll fast forward through that on camera so I don't bore you and then you guys will see the final product. I will also go in and apply some lower lash mascara. Because you guys know from my last video, I did not apply any lower lash mascara. So I'm going to do all that right now. All right, lashes are on. I didn't go in on the upper lash line with any additional mascara. It's just the lash trios, which is awesome. So it's not gonna get crusty. I did give them a nice little curl to open them up a little bit more. And then I went in with the lower lash mascara. Now we're gonna go ahead and touch up the lip. You could go in with whatever lip color you wanted to at this point. It's very easy to wipe off a lip and apply something else, but I'm just gonna go in with the same Revlon balm stain that I was using for my daytime work time look. This is so beautiful. It layers beautifully. You can build it up, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. You could also go in with a matte lipstick if you wanted to, to make it kind of wear a little bit longer. I like this because it wears really pretty and you don't have to touch up with a mirror. So I'm just gonna go ahead and amp this up a little bit. And I know this seems backwards, but once I apply that, I like to go ahead and take just kind of a nude natural liner and just kind of even everything out. Does not have to be red. 
I think this makes everything look just a little bit more natural and I just kind of wipe it off as I go along because it is going to pick up some of that color. And that is it you guys. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and set everything down. You know I typically like to set everything before I apply mascara but in all honesty I forgot. So I'm just going to cover my eyes a little bit and I'm going to use the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look, taking my makeup from daytime to night. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. I really tried to keep it simple, but use products that were packing a punch. You definitely don't have to use these lash trios if that's too much for you. Like I said, just go in with a little Vaseline and apply some more mascara to get the same look. I just have these tiny little lashes that need a little bit more. All we did was really deepen what we already had on the face for the complexion. We used two shadows on the lids which couldn't be easier and it really does amplify especially if you have blue eyes. If you have other color eyes you can use products that will amplify that as well. I think that's a really really good key to making your makeup kind of pop for nighttime. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know below. Otherwise, if you are interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending some time with me in your busy day. I really, really appreciate it. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.